Welcome to the Holy Yogi, where we help you find the guru inside of you. Hello, beautiful. Hello, handsome. How you doing today? And if no one has told you today that they love you, shame on them. <laughs> Let me be the first to say, I love you. I love you, and I love you, and I love you, and I love you, and I love you. Hey, listen, the reason why we love you so much is because it's real simple. Love makes the world go round and round and round. And love is the greatest medicine of them all, ladies and gentlemen. And guess what? Love wins and God is what? Love. So it can't get better than that when you're in great company with the universe, God, omnipotent force, Jesus Christ, Yahweh, Allah, Jehovah, Buddha, whatever it is that you want to call it for yourself. The bottom line is it's all about the love. So let's get down to the love business, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are going to talk about the love challenge. It started today, February the 4th, 2019. <laughs> I'm telling my age. <laughs> 2019 is the first day of the love challenge. So stay and wait, but before you do that, you gotta do me a favor because you gotta get the inside scoop. Over the next seven days, we're gonna do love challenge, and I know you wanna get ready for Valentine's Day. And if you do the love challenge, maybe a Valentine will come your way, or the Valentine that you have will be extra, extra special this year. So before we begin and go a step further, do me a favor like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification button. So ding, 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 ding. When I have my next video, you're ready and you're on point to find the love that you're looking for, to be the love that you're looking for, and to feel the love that you are. <laughs> so, got that done? Okay, cool. Let's talk about the love challenge. What is the love challenge? Well, you know, one of the things that I have on my other site, and go check it out if you want to become vegan and fit and raw, just go check it out. It's a really cool site on teaching individuals various strategies that they can use and I'm always holding challenges there so we did the squat and push-up challenge we did the ab challenge we did the uh, dry fast challenge we did the uh, celery juice watermelon juice challenge you know uh, for a certain period of time we're gonna do it repetitiously over and over again to what for the healthy aspect of it was to bring make us more fit and also make us more healthy uh, for the food aspect of it. So now, what we're gonna do, hey, it's real simple. We have got to build our love muscle and to bring more love into our lives and learn to be a more loving person in a sometimes very unloving world. Well, like anything in life, if you don't use it, you lose it. Maybe that's why we lost love, huh? So that's what we're in the business of doing right now. We're in the business of getting down to the core understanding of what it is to have a healthy relationship. And so the love challenge, you know, came about from our healthy relationship series, which I want you to go check out um, because I'm going to put, put it in the description below because it was very informative of teaching you, number one, to love yourself. Number two, to love your family. Number three, to now you get into having a wonderful soulmate or the love your significant other. But first, you got to do with the basic core foundation. So... Well, and some of us are in elementary school when it comes to love because a lot of us have been taught to hate <laughs> more than love. A lot of us have fallen into fear instead of falling into love. And that is what a conditional relationship is all about. A conditional relationship is if you do this for me, then I'll do this for you. If you don't do this for me, that means you don't love me. And that's not true at all. Love, true love is completely unconditional. So with that said, because so many people are not familiar with it. So many people didn't go to Love 101 school. Uh, we're gonna teach you how to do it here. And so one of the things that we're doing, and we began today with my family, my intermediate family, and I suggest you do the same thing too. And let's say you're even by yourself, you're even a solo act, that's okay. Matter of fact, it's even better that way because you won't get confused because the first relationship you need to have and you truly need to love is yourself because you draw to you what you are. So if you drew to you a person that was very unloving, very unavailable, somewhere along the line, you've got some of that unavailability and that lack of love inside of you. Mm -hmm. As we're pointing one finger at someone else, what's happening? Three fingers are pointing back at us. 
So let's take responsibility. Beautiful thing about it is let's heal it and let's get into the love mobile, okay? So this is what we need to do. This is the love challenge. Every day for the next seven days, starting today, so you're right on time. And if you get this in the future, don't worry. After the seven days, you get to start it and do it anytime you want to. And you can come back to these videos over and over again until you get it right. So let me share with you what the love challenge is. Number one, first thing that you're going to do is you are going to think, remember, thoughts are things, that vibrational frequency, you're going to think about that person in a loving way and in your prayers, in your meditation, in your visualization, in your affirmations, you are going to say, I love you. Like, I love you, mom. I love you, mom. I love you, mom. Could you do that affirmation, you know, 108 times, the japa, to really seal the deal and get it in the thought consciousness, okay? Then, after you think about that person and put that vibrational frequency out there, I'm telling you right now, the healing really begins in the ethers, okay? In the place where you cannot see that vibrational frequency, the energy, but it is happening. Okay, that's when it's most powerful, when it's in the spiritual realm. So now, now that you're thinking it and that you're meditating, you're visualizing it, then what you need to do next and meditating on it, number two, now we got to verbally state it. Now you tell that person, I love you, mom, and you look them in the eye. And now you verbally state it. Now keep in mind, as you are saying any type of word, it vibrates right, right back to you. And what you get, you're only speaking to what you are. As you're speaking it to them, you're in essence speaking it to you. So a lot of love is really marinating, okay? Don't expect that person to say it back in return because it's all about you giving love. If they say it, that's fine. If they don't, it's okay because it's all about you giving out the love. This is how powerful love is. It only takes one person. Love is a powerful force. It only takes one person. It only takes one saying. So now after you say it, then do a loving physical act. So one of the things that I did, I hugged and I kissed my mom this morning. And it was so moody, 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 moody. And she loved me too. And it was just so wonderful. But if you think about it, you think it, you say it, and you hug it. You know, you do an act. Oh, make, make that person breakfast in the morning or the cup of coffee before they go off to work or fill the car up with some gas before your wife drives off in the car to go to work. Some little random act of love. They say random act of kindness, you know. Pay the toll for them. Pay one of their bills this month or something of that nature, you know. Remember, it doesn't always have to be money. You know, put a nice little note on the refrigerator or on the mirror before you go to work. I love you. Have a great day. You look handsome. You're awesome. You're smart. You're intelligent. You're excellent. You know, you're wonderful. You know, positively affirm someone and give a, a lot of loving compliments to an individual. Now, keep in mind, as you are giving out all that love, what's happening? That love vibrational force is coming back to you. Some, some miracles may happen. Now, keep in mind, like I said, sometimes that love you're giving out is to the boss from hell. <laughs> give it a go. Give it a try. Let's see what happens. But let's do it with people in the beginning stages because we really want it to be an environment where it most likely will be receptive. Obviously, you want to come up and hug and kiss the garbage man that brings the garbage back because he might be like, whoa, 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 what's going on here? You know, sometimes people take it uh, to, um, I don't say sexual harassment, but you know what I mean. <laughs> people are a little sensitive nowadays because uh, they can't even handle love so much because people, unfortunately, be haters, have experienced haters more than they have experienced lovers. So that's the challenge every day for the next seven days. Now, this is the deal. If you forget and if you miss a day, you got to start all over again. Yep, you got to start from scratch. Let's say you go from Monday to Wednesday and you forget Thursday. Well, you got to start all over again on, on Friday, oh, another seven days till next Friday. Yep, because you know at a subconscious level, ah, you're afraid to love. You're afraid of the disappointment. You have some type of fear that you got to work through and you got to do because we don't forget things that are what? 
really important to us. I don't care how forgetful we are. When we really want to remember something, we will. Okay, so it's some type of resistance that you really need to work on and marinate in. You know, like, like you know, if you know how, like, um, like I, I do, I sometimes make tofu dishes. I know you, some of you may make steaks, but ima- ima- imagine when you marinate, you know, the seasonings inside of that tofu or inside of that steak. And you know, when it really gets in there and it's in there for hours, even sometimes you even marinate for 24 hours in a day. Those juices have sunk in and it really makes that steak or that tofu taste absolutely delicious and scrumptious. That's the same with love. You got to be marinated in on a consistent daily basis until it becomes a part of you. Because like I mentioned to you today, we live in a world that's very negative and very unloving and very more fear-based than it is love-based. So we've got out of the habit. We've got out of the routine of being loving and giving love. And let me share this with you. One thing I forgot to mention, the first person you need to focus that energy on is you. First, you love you because you are God and God is you. And so you're building that wonderful vibration field. When God's love is, oh my God, it can heal anything. It's miraculous. It's magical. So you really need to make that connective force because you are what? A mini God. Okay? You were created in the likeness and image of God. <laughs> so that's what you need to do first and foremost. And the best way to, you know, say I love you to you is the mirror work. Look into the mirror where you will see a reflection of yourself and say I love you. Hint, 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 hint. Let me just tell on me. The first time I did the mirror work and I looked in the mirror and I said I love you, Elon. Guess what? I cried because the reality of the situation is if I was honest with myself, I really didn't love me. I was too busy picking out what was wrong with me and putting myself down and and, and and my nose is too wide and my lips are too big and my eyes are too square and, you know, I mean, just ridiculous stuff. But that's what will come up for you. You really will see how much love you have for yourself. And just like any other thing that you need to practice and become a habit, well, loving yourself maybe have to become a habit and a practice because maybe over the years you were actually hating yourself. And that's the key thing. But the, but, but the consolation prize, don't, don't get upset about it. That's a, that's a revelation. That's a good thing because of the fact that if you realize, oh, my goodness, when I realized it, I was like, I was disappointed and, and sad at one point. But then again, I was elated because I'm like, oh, man. Once I get, I, I understand now I was track, attracting unloving people because I was being unloving to me. So I was drawing at that vibrational frequency. So the consolation prize and the hallelujah moment was, oh my God, if I learned to love me and appreciate me and adore me and treat me in the most loving way, then what will happen is that vibrational force will really attract me and my soulmate. And I'm quicker at my, with my soulmate than ever before. So that's great. You know, and then, like I said, you get in that mirror, and after a while, you're in that mirror, and you're talking to yourself. You look, girl, (laughs) you get into it. You look good. I love your eyebrows. I love your nose. I love your lips. I love that hairstyle. Go with you. I love those earrings that you're wearing right now. And you get, and that becomes a habit. So it's not about becoming conceited or self-centered. It's more about becoming a centered self. Because if you have self-awareness in who and what you are, Ah, oh, that energy of love. Once you become, once you do that self-love strategy and 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 medicinal uh, uh, act, it is going to vibrate through you and it's going to transcend throughout other people. And believe it or not, as well as it will be healing for you, it's going to be healing for all your family, friends, and loved ones. And if you have your whole entire family, your immediate family, in your household, loving each other and respecting each other and honoring each other. Makes for a wonderful, peaceful place. Yes, 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 yes. So begin today. Do the love challenge starting today and spread the word. Have everybody else let it go viral. Have the domino effect, and we live in a much better loving world. Oh my god, it'll be heaven right here on earth. It's possible, and it can happen not only for me, but also for you. With that said, thanks so much for being on board today. Let me ask you a question. Have you already been doing the love challenge? 
Um, what do you think about the love challenge? Have you difficulty saying I love you to someone? Have you difficulty thinking I love you to someone? Are you having difficulty, you know, showing an express expression of love? You know, a lot of people that I know, you know, unfortunately I was married to someone that was not very good at demonstra demonstratively expressing love. Difficult to hug, difficult to kiss. Then you gotta think about that. When it hurts to hug and to kiss someone, whoa, baby. <sighs> a healing needs to happen. So comment, give us your opinion of what a love challenge is all about. If you're gonna do the love challenge, if you appreciate the love challenge, we love to hear from you. Uh, these comments, and, I, and guess what? I do respond to my comments. People are surprised, and I do answer them right away. And we have a great dialogue, and we can grow together. You know, we're the vibe that creates the tribe of love. Come join us. Peace, love, and light. And let's do our, our minute meditation. Mm. Dear Heavenly Spirit, divine, divine, gracious Mother, Father, God, thank us so much for the love challenge. And I thank you for the love that I have for myself, the love I have for my family, the love I have for my friends, and all the people throughout the world. I send light and love. I think I love you. I say I love you. And I do a loving act to the people that I care about. I thank you, God, for guiding me every single step of the way on this wonderful love challenge. I am claiming that I'm going to be successful from Monday to Sunday of spreading love to each and every person that I connect with. Thank you, universe. Thank you, universe. Thank you, universe. Amen, Ashe. Peace and light, and have a